Welcome to e Know How. In this video, we would look at a qualitative view of the RL and RC circuits that we have seen before. So let's look at the R L circuit. And then we had two switches here. One switch to connect the RL circuit across a DC voltage source V. And an other switch to short the circuit to this S2 to ground and S1 to the DC voltage source and this is R and this is L. So what we saw was the voltage across once you connect uh, the close the switch S1 initially all the voltage is dropped across the inductor so there is no current flowing through the circuit and now and then slowly the voltage across the inductor keeps falling and the current keeps increasing and it the current reaches a value of V over R. So if you looked at it from the current and the voltage if we plot them so say the voltage first VL of T it's initially all the voltage appears across the inductor which is V and then it falls towards zero inductor becomes a short whereas if you look at the current uh, flowing through the inductor or through this circuit the I of T here so this is I of T flowing in this direction like the with the direction the arrow pointed here so it increases it is initially starts at zero increases to a value which is V over R and then once you close say the switch the switch S1 is opened and S2 is closed what happens is if you look at the the current it still starts it still flows in the same direction but it dies down towards zero and whereas the voltage actually I didn't leave enough place here it reverses direction and goes back to zero again so I should have actually plotted it with some let me plot the voltage again here so it's plus V minus V so while the inductor is charging or while there is current being established in the circuit initially its V goes towards 0 goes to minus V and goes back to 0 again so this is how and then it repeats if you do that same thing again it, it repeats closing the switch S1 and S2 so now let's look at the RC circuit so this RL circuit acts from the voltage point of view if you look at it it acts like a high pass filter so whenever there is a sudden change in the voltage so it passes the voltage but when the voltage is not changing it would go to zero the voltage across the inductor and this is our reference ground here now let's look at the RC circuit we have the same establish you know the where uh, you have the voltage source DC voltage source with value V and you have the switches S1 and S2 and you had CR and S1 here S2 to short this to ground and let's look at the current and the voltage across the capacitor in this case now so now what we said is initially at time t equal to zero the capacitor acts like a short for high frequency you know changes so what happens is at time t equal to zero if you look at the i of t here the i of t flowing this way in this circuit at time t equal to zero it starts with v over r because the capacitor is a short so there is no voltage drop across the capacitor 
So the current is V over R and it charges the capacitor and dies down to zero. So in steady state there is no current in this whereas in the RL circuit there is no voltage across uh, the inductor but in a steady state there is always a current flowing V over R. Now if you looked at the voltage, so let me give more place here. Now if you look at the voltage across the capacitor Vc of t. Initially it starts at zero and then it charges to voltage V. It goes up to V here. And now what we do is we, so this is the voltage Vc of t, that's what we were talking about or plotting here. Now you open the switch S1 and close the switch S2. What happens is here the voltage across the capacitor does not reverse. It remains the same and it dies down back to zero. But whereas if you look at the current, it starts flowing in the opposite direction now. So it goes to minus V over R and then dies down back to zero again. So the current actually is no longer flowing this way. It starts flowing the opposite way out of the capacitor into the resistor and into the ground. So here for an RC circuit, for an RL circuit, we saw that the voltage across the inductor reverses, but the current does not change the direction. So here in this case, the voltage across the capacitor is just, uh, it builds up to V and it falls back to zero. It is never negative, but the current is actually initially it flows into the capacitor and after a while it flows out of the capacitor when it's discharging.